So right now, I'm on a no cool call, making my way to the unit it's right here. Um, the set is just blowing warm air, which is just part of the underwear. So we have what a temp star ICP unit, uh, 510. I left the power on, so I'm just gonna pop this open, and check it out. You can see the condenser's not on, but the fan is on. And I have the thermostat calling, so I'm gonna check this out. Get it open. I'm really close to this wall, so I'm really zoomed in. Okay, so I have my meter on, so I'm gonna check for um, because I could hear the contactor uh, energized. I'm gonna make you hear it. So I'm gonna check for high voltage. Which we'll check both these legs, like so. And we got uh, 244, which we do have voltage. So now we're gonna check our contactor and see if we have 24 volts energizing it if you go from one leg see if I could do one handed to the other like that and we have 26 volts so so our contactor is energized and we have high voltage so I'm guessing the contacts the, the pins while inside are not touching so they're not letting the voltage go through to turn on our condenser motor and our compressor so I'm gonna pop this open check it out this gonna stop and I pop the uh, I pop this open and check it out see that the contact is like shattered from so many times I'm guessing from energizing Look at this. This is a fight and so I'm guessing this compressor this consume a lot of electricity. Okay, so they get the 168 volts I start um, amps. So eventually that's gonna wear out your your contact delay pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the approval swap it. Contact it, I mean the capacitor, it's new. So we'll get the approval on that. I got the approval for the contact. So now we're gonna look through this mess and get a two pole contactor. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so we have a two pole right here. So it's a two pole, 24 volts coil. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and slap this on. Check everything. See, uh, we're going back with the, the same rating contactor. Um, you see the bolts, uh, we're at 240, at 40 amps, so it's up to a 180 to 200 LR, LRA. It's the, the same. This is the one once made in USA, the one's made in probably, probably China. <laughs> Do the work, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on there. So, this is the contact you swapped. It's a new one. Every time you're gonna replace a contact, three, if you, you're too lazy to go turn the thermostat off, make sure these are the first wires you hook up your low voltage. You don't want to pop a fuse or burn a transformer, <laughs> you know, touching the panel or something. So, that's what I did. I put these first and then I my high voltage. I always make sure, even though you take the disconnect off like these make sure you have no voltage because sometimes people hack the disconnect they put the, the high voltage direct so just make sure of that always time time your your bolts good not with the drill though with the with hand tight high tight hand tight and uh check your terminals because they always get loose too so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I have my, my multimeter set for inrush, and we have an inrush of 169 rated for this compressor. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and see what we get.
Wow, this thing falls like shit. So now we're gonna check our amp drill. We're at 20 amps. And this one is later for... Let's see, we need 25. Rating. Okay, and we'll put in 20, 19, but that I think is loud, there it is, right, so I'm done with this one, um, for some of you, uh, you new guys, if you head to a unit and it's this loud, don't worry about it, man. It's normal. <laughs> so, it's leaking water from here, from the second there. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have a, the PVC, man. So I'm gonna run the PVC. But there's a lot of water here, so I'm guessing either the trap or somewhere is plugged up. So I'm gonna take this apart and I'm gonna have to blow it or just make sure it's straining correctly. I don't have a safety switch, so I'm just gonna put a, a pipe with the 90 up for now. So it won't be leaking water through there. Alright. So you see the water's draining now. I flushed the primary, it was really plugged up. You can hear it? Not it's draining. Damn. I've littered the whole kitchen and all the carpet right here. Flushed it with some nitrogen. And I just put this right here. 